Hello everyone, it's Vivi Cameron here and today I'm going to be sharing ideas and inspiration using Designer Choice Die of the Month by Tonic Studios. This die set includes 25 individual dies and is designed to create a three-fold card. So today I'm going to show you how easy it is to put this card together and I'm also going to share extra ideas with you. So to start with, I'm going to die cut these pieces just like that. These are individual die cuts, so you can cut them out of different cardstock colors, but today I'm going to use only two colors of cardstock, this minty color and white. All I have to do is to adhere the die cuts like I'm showing there. And this die cut has a little flap that you can easily attach behind this part here, and as easy as that, you got the three fold. I'm also going to add a panel in this mint color and I'm going to glue this onto the card base. So as you see there, this is a super speedy project and all you have to do from there is to embellish using the small floral dies also included in the die set. So I'm not going to show you all the process to make the little flowers, but there are several options. All I did was giving some shape using the stylus. I use liquid adhesive to keep everything in place. So this is what the die set has been designed for. However, I also make this tag for this gift bag and all I have to do to make this project is to use this die set here. The name is on the screen and all I have to do is to die cut two pieces of cardstock. Because I'm using mirror cardstock, I'm going to be using double-sided tape because it's easier to adhere the pieces together. But first, I'm going to fold this cardstock with my hands. I'm not going to be using a bond folder because the bond folder can scratch the paper and it also can cause the cardstock to crack. So I'm just using my hands there and I'm also adhering the double-sided tape on the flaps of the box. Once I have this done, I'm going to remove the backing of the double-sided tape and I'm going to stick the pieces together just like that. Tonic offers this die set as part of a bundle with the magazine issue number 10. I really think they should sell this die set alone because it's just beautiful. It has any tonic die. It also includes decorative die cuts to die cut panels for the gift bag. I'm not going to use any of that today. Just the frame and another die to die cut a decorative element for the tag. So this is the tag. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how I made it. But first, I'm going to show you this here. And I'm going to use this die here to cut the top of that tag there. I'm not going to place the plate of the machine over the whole project because I don't want to scratch or mark the paper. So I just want to create that decorative shape at the top of the tag. And I'm also going to use the other die there to cut that beautiful decorative element and the tag is done. You can do this with any die set you have. And I'm going to show you another sample so you have a better idea about how to do this. And you can attach your tag to your projects using ribbon or twine or anything you might have there. I'm just going to use this ribbon and I'm going to tie a bow. So there you go, a super simple idea. I'm loving this gold box, but you can make boxes in any color. So to make the tag, all you have to do is to adhere this piece on a piece of cardstock that measures two inches and a half width by six inches but the cardstock can be even longer depending the project you are going to be making then i'm going to add the other die cut on top and i'm going to trim the edges of this piece here like i'm showing there so as simple as that i get the tag now i want to cut the top of this tag with the shape of that bag so that's what I said that you can use any other tonic die to do this. And I'm only using the plate over the area I'm die cutting. 
I just want to avoid marking the paper or, or anything like that, but you might try to place the plate on top of the whole thing and maybe nothing happens, to be honest. So all I'm going to do here is to adhere this on this purse here. And I'm going to add also one of those decorative elements from the die set, just like that. And I made this project in these crazy colors and this glitter cardstock because I wanted to share the idea to make birthday party woody bags for little girls and it's super duper easy to make. And to make this project, I use this die set by Tonic Studios listed in the video description and I just die cut two identical pieces using this frame die here and also the back handle using that die there. So all you have to do is to fold over the scoring lines, just like that, and then you have to glue them together. And I just need to face the die cuts like that. And I found that it's easier to glue the flaps in one side first, and then I glue the other two. But this is totally up to you. You will find easier ways to adhere your bag. You can also use double-sided tape or any other adhesive you might have. I really like Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive because it provides a permanent bond. So to make the handle, I just like to add two die cuts just like that. And I break the fibers of the paper using the palm folder to then glue them in place just like this. These also have a lash on part here that keeps the back closed. It's very beautiful. And I'm going to embellish this back using this die cut here I made using the designer choice die of this month. And why not finish in this project by adding a stamped panel? Last but not least, I want to show you a last card idea. And I was experimenting. So I die cut a piece of patterned paper and using the trimmer, I cut the bottom of this panel in diagonal. I then glue the panel on a piece of cardstock that I score and cut to be at five inches and a half by four and a quarter. And then when I have the card base done, I start adding decorative elements. And because the patterned paper has gold foil, I'm using gold mirror cardstock to add these elements. So I just did some very easy paper piercing to stick in place the sentiment and little flowers. And I also give shape to this flower here and I pinch the edges of the petals like so to give a different shape to that flower. All the flowers in my examples were made that way. And remember, you can do this in any color you might like. These are just samples. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel or visit my blog for more ideas and inspiration. There is a list with supplies in the video description. And when you buy through those links, I get a small commission at no extra cost to you. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye.